Happy Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wisdom. Now, this is perfect timing because it wasn't something that I had anticipated talking about last week whenever we first started talking about coming out of the pandemic, but I was recently doing an event for healthcare leaders and during one of the breaks, um, a participant came up to me and she got very serious. I was like, okay, we're getting very serious. So I got my serious face on. And then she started to share that as an introvert, when everything started happening, she realized 18 months in, like, this isn't stopping anytime soon. She kind of went in on herself because she had to protect herself. And she's feeling guilt and shame as she's coming out of that, like she didn't do enough for her employees. It was a difficult conversation and I was very proud of her for coming up because you could tell she had been wrestling with this for a while and it got me to thinking, how many other leaders are feeling this as well? How many other leaders have had to protect themselves during this challenging time when compassion fatigue was at a high, when there was really no more that we could give? There's no more that our employees could give. I mean, we just, everybody was tapped out. And so I'm going to share with you what I shared with her, and then as a group, we got a large room conversation going with all of the participants. And 200 people shared essentially the same thing, that now is the time for grace. As we are transitioning to the other side of the pandemic and in this new world and what that will look like, we don't know. We don't know what it's gonna look like coming out of it. But we do know that we need to give ourselves grace. We need to give each other grace. We are not the same people today that we were two and a half, three years ago. In normal circumstances, we would not be the same person in two to three years, but in extraordinary circumstances, we have gone through extraordinary changes. And that's okay. Take time to get to know who you are in this new world. Take time to get to know who your employees, your spouse, your children, your loved ones, we are starting to get the gift of time. We don't have a lot of it. It's a small gift, but we're starting to get it. Take the time to be intentional to relearn yourself and relearn others. And the one piece of advice that was given to this very brave leader as she was talking to all of us was to be transparent and authentic with your employees. Because if she's feeling this way, chances are her employees are feeling it too. As a leader, she has the privilege of opening the door to that conversation, stepping through it and saying, this is who I am and this is what I'm struggling with. And it opens the door to allow her employees to say, yeah, me too. Now's the time for deeper conversations with those that you love, those that choose to follow you, those that you work with. Don't be scared of them. Lean in. I know this was a serious topic this week, but it's something that it feels like a lot of people are wrestling with. It's something that we needed to deal with. So thank you for tuning in this week. I hope you have an absolutely amazing week. And don't forget, you got this. I'll see you next week.